Yo guys, we're going to part 2 of Let's Play Earthworm Jim for the Sega CD. And this will also be found on GameAnyone.com. So in the last part, we took on the first level, beat it, and now we're in what the heck. Yep, that's how you deal with a lawyer. You whip the briefcase off, and then shoot. That is what you do against all lawyers in real life. Make sure you take a leather belt, pull out your gun, and then, well, that's it! That's how you deal with a lawyer! I don't recommend you try that in real life, otherwise you'll be in jail by, you know, forever. They pretty much frown on killing people that got money. Yet if they're poor, they don't seem to give a damn. I'm not saying that's true, but it just seems that logical. Okay, this was not in the Super Nintendo version. This is basically the part where you gotta take on that stupid snowman. Well, in the SNES version, it just takes you to a very small room where you fight the miniboss. Here, you have to get to it. I don't see why the Super Nintendo could not include that. Like, just make it a little challenging for the kids. They would like a challenge once in a while. You, you'd be surprised. I mean, back then, little kids actually wanted to be challenged. Oh, great. There. That's better. Better get some more energy. Oh, of course, some more weapon fire. Uh-oh. That. That's putting it mildly. Oh, that was fast. Those homing torpedoes are pretty powerful. I remember my practice run all I was using was the whip and it took forever to beat this guy. Huh. The things you learn just by giving it a second try. Oh, back here in the main area. Oh, found a secret passage. And I had an extra life. Uh oh. I hate this part, you gotta go through all these stalactites. Just try not to take too much damage. Cause they hurt you, that's like 20% right there. Just from one stalactite. It's not like they're that dangerous, I mean sure they're sharp and they're rock and they fall on you. Okay, it's that dangerous. But, I mean, still, like 20%, that's a lot, especially on normal difficulty. Just imagine when I switched to hard. Like, seriously, that's just wrong. Ah, whip too late. Ah, whip too late again. Not this time. Uh, I was just not prepared altogether. Uh, pretty close to the boss right now. I could just taste it. Well, I can't really taste it. I mean, I've seen this all before. No, 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 no. I am not dying here. Oh, man. Okay, I think this is the boss. So if I take a hit here, it's no big deal. In fact, it'll make the battle a lot easier if I do. But well, let's try. Who knows, I might be able to luck out. It has two phases, apparently. Come on, super shots. Ew! I gotta keep jumping these. After a while. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. I'm just gonna keep this up so that the foundation can be destroyed, and I can start the second phase. And just take out this cat's nine lives. That is disgusting. Like, spread your legs even more, will ya, you slut? Like 10% just from a rock, seriously. Like, come on, stop firing regular rocks. Let's see, it's so hard to dodge these sometimes. 
Okay, now for the second phase. Just finish him. One. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was supposed to shoot. But it worked. I really love the uh, nine count here because it sounds so cute. Three. Three. And it's gonna sound even funny when it says four. Four! <laughs> like just four! Ow! Oh, just right over where I was. Five. Five. Oh, come on! I was unprepared. I only take four more hits. Is that Macho Man there? Seven. Eight. Eight. One more, one more. Nine. Got him! It's over. Yeehaw. Now, to go further. Ruby. Ooh, Big Broody! This level is exclusive to the Sega CD and PC. Neither the SNES or the Genesis would get this level. Unfortunately, I mean, this level actually seems quite cool. It is very disappointing that those two consoles can't get this level. So it's designed real well. It's a very unique concept. Basically, you get this giant slob monster trying to chase you, and he'll kill you in one hit. So you gotta try and dodge them and actually use them to your advantage just to get past certain areas. So it's all a matter on how you utilize a giant brute. But the thing is, to get Big Brute to chase you, you have to get real close because, well, he's blind. He can only see you by sense of smell. Then you gotta run as fast as you can to make sure he doesn't come back from his main area and can surprise you by eating you to death. There, that is how you use them to your advantage. I know there are items over there, but I'm gonna go to the right. That means I gotta do backtracking if I try to get them. And I don't wanna do that. And do I want that extra life? Nah. There. Uh-oh. Little brutes. I'm gonna kill this mosquito. There. I uh, can't reach those, so I have to wait for them to come closer. There. Oh, was he cleaning himself too? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for you to move. Oh, this is my chance, this is my chance! Okay, I gotta wait for him to come back. I'm over here! No, I'm not! There. It's very important to get used to the whip real early. Oh, come on, 10% just from a mosquito. There, fuck you then. At least I got that rocket back. Get them out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, I gotta get over here next. Yeah, how many of these things are there? I'm over here! Come get me! You suck! Okay... Oh, 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 oh. Ah. I had to fly by mistake. 
Now let's get up. I think let's get up. I think I can get that extra life doing this. Yep, that's how it's done. I mean, there are some secrets I know. Others I don't. I acknowledge it and move on. Oh, better be fast. Cause it's a long chase. Am I close to the end? I think so. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. Stay tuned for the next part.